I went to a very exclusive, snobbish, elitist education in India. Produces prime ministers and cabinet ministers and bureaucrats and ambassadors. Never been to a village in my life before because you lead such a cloistered existence and you're not really thinking of going to villages, you're thinking of going to New York and Paris and Zurich. And then I went to the village for the first time in 1965. Changed my life. And I came back and I said, what the hell am I doing here? So I went to my mother for the first time and I said, look, actually I don't want to be a diplomat, I don't want to be a banker. I'd like to live and work in a village. Then she said, well, actually, uh, what do you want to do in a village? I said, I want to be an unskilled laborer digging wells. She wouldn't speak to me for many years. So for five years, I just dug wells. I came in touch with the most extraordinary people. That is when I started thinking of starting a barefoot college only for the poor. It's a college where only the dropouts and the copouts and the washouts are invited. Anyone who has a degree and a qualification is disqualified to come to the college. By investing in grandmothers, and not one has failed me so far, they reverse migration, they solar electrify their own village, they become a role model, they change the men-women relationships in the village, and now the sky is the limit. As of today, 200 grandmothers have been trained from 28 countries, almost covered the whole continent of Africa. We trained three women from Afghanistan. Now those three women have trained 27 more women. Solar electrified 100 villages. The moment they understand it, the moment they, they see the impact on the ground immediately, felt, tangible, doesn't take five years for something to bring a result, impact is felt immediately, spreads like wildfire. I don't have to do a thing. You know, they say the best way to communicate is not telephone, not telegraph, not television. Tell a woman. The approach of the Barefoot College is how do you take the most sophisticated technology and bring it down to the common man and woman who are less than one dollar a day.